You know, I'm a swim bait guy. I mean, I love swim baits. There aren't very many holes in my swim bait arsenal, but the dark sleeper just slid right into one. You know, unlike a mag draft or um, an ice slide, um, swim baits are meant to be fished mid range, sometimes, you know, more towards the top of the water column. This dark sleeper is a nice bait to fish on the bottom. You know, a lot of times when we're fishing real gnarly structure, whether it be rocks or wood or grass, this dark sleeper is super weedless and you can maintain that bottom contact and that's, that's a huge, huge deal. And that's how you get those big fish um, to bite is when you're you know, cranking it along. Same thing with a wobble head or a jig when you're you know, cranking it along, rod tip low, keeping it moving, that tail is moving for me. There's a bite, oh gosh. That one absolutely smoked it, got it again. Yep, nice bottom contact there. And that one there, bit it once. It bit it once, I swung and missed. It swam right back down to that rock and thunk, it smoked it again. So maintaining that bottom contact is absolutely important when fishing that dark sleeper. Just like a crankbait's deflecting off those rocks, keeping it moving, keeping that real subtle tail moving along there. And I know every single time when I set the hook, that hook is going right into the roof of their mouth, just like a jig. Excellent, excellent tool for putting them in the boat when they're on the bottom. Really cool stuff. I noticed where this weed line ended, there was a nice little rock vein, a little rock point that stuck out further than these weeds. And after trolling over it, I saw there was a little drop off on it and there's a bunch of little isolated rocks, but I know there's bait fish in the area. So I tied on this dark sleeper. It's basically a finesse swim bait and you can bounce it around those rocks just like you would a jig. There's some beautiful feeling rock there. You know, when I'm swimming around those, those boulders or weed clumps or whatever it might be, and I give it that nice pop, that low center of gravity keeps it along the bottom. And when it falls and that nice little tail moves along the bottom like that, that's what drives those big fish nuts. And then I'll use a couple different retrieves as well, just like I would a jig, um, you know, making a long cast over that, that hot spot or where that school of fish is, or, you know, that drop off, whatever it might be and maintaining bottom contact, just like a deep diving crankbait or jig is, is what, what I want to key in on. A couple different retrieves, a real good one is just dragging it just like a jig, using my rod tip, not my reel, but I'm reeling down the slack and just kind of dragging it through there. With a seven foot five javelin destroyer rod, it, it, it picks up a lot of line quickly, so I'm just slowly dragging it through there and I can feel every little tick, every little tick. Oh yeah, just like a jig. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> That one, I was cranking it along, cranking it along, and I kind of gave it a little pause. It's so important to keep that bottom contact like that. Just like a crankbait, it deflects off those rocks. Oh yeah, and another one. Absolutely throttled it. Again, it's a one-aught stout hook, and it's hidden in that split dorsal fin. The hookup ratio is excellent. It's basically a weed guard, a natural weed guard for that one-aught hook. Look at that. I mean, that thing was just, look at that beautiful hook inside the dorsal fin and it just collapses real nice. Excellent, excellent hookup ratio. The other thing too is that fish bit on the paws. That bait was literally sitting on the bottom. It's got a flat bottom, it's sitting on the bottom. It looks so natural and realistic to that fish. It can't see the hook, it can't see the hook point. Came up, sucked it up, solid hook set in the boat. Thanks girl. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one on the dark sleeper. Whoo! I mean, that bait is gone. Oh my gosh, that fish absolutely choked that bait. Oh, yeah. Whoo! Nice large mouth on the dark sleeper. Slow swimming along the bottom, just bumping those rocks, ticking those rocks. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's just like the biggest jig bite on steroids. Just cranking along, cranking along along the bottom and doink. And we're in a post front situation. They're not supposed to be crushing baits like this. And that thing absolutely destroyed the dark sleeper. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs>